Right, we've been down this road once before, and we're here again. More vegan macaroni and cheeses. We're gonna try them out. Today on Box Mac. We've got three Macs here on the table of Macs, but one is pushed towards the back. When we did the original vegan show, I had purchased this Mac for that show. When we did that vegan show, there were less vegan Macs. Isn't um, that incredible? Like, De Deo was Maybe there. Maybe fewer. But fewer. There may have been fewer. Oh, oh. you're gonna pull that card? I'm going, Nina. And we went to like some standard vegan websites and we they, we pulled a bunch of like the small batch, like you can't yeah. get them in stores, Macs. Right. And this was one of them. Roads End Organics, dairy free macaroni and cheese. Nina has actually tried this, I've had macaroni, this and macaroni and cheese. cheese. And we're not gonna try this macaroni and cheese today. It's of the Leahy Garden variety. Well, yes. no, why not? I'll cook a, a pot. Because I would like to find a good vegan mac. We know this is awful. Guys, our marketing department tells us that YouTube likes it when we hate on things, not when we like things. Oh my We've God. We've got to hate this. I'm pretty sure I'm going to hate these just fine. I'm going to cook this in a rapid. You do whatever you want. You can't this. cook it in a rapid. It's that roux thing where you have to like make it. Do you, want, do you want a third pot? I can get a third pot. We've never done three pots on Box Mac. Yeah, I want to see what this is all about. Um, you're going to be 100% responsible for that mac. I'm going to have nothing to do yeah, with it. Yeah, you're Well, you're not going to eat it? I'll eat it. Annie's is hot off the press. This vegan Annie's is like a brand <laughs> new product. Um, they don't advertise themselves as mac and cheese. They are shells and creamy sauce. And the Dea is kind of, this was a big deal when it came out. This is from the Chicago box, by the way, still giving us after so long. It was kind of the thing for a little while, along with that Earth Balance Mac that we did try. Because Earth Balance and Day are, are both big names in yep. vegan, yes. creamy cheese replacement That's things. Right. We, we were told after the vegan episode by a lot of your vegan compatriots on the internet yeah. that we should have tried Daya. It was Daya all along. I'm excited because it's a sauce cheese packet. It's mac. the only vegan sauce, sauce, cheese, sauce packet. cheese packet I know of. Sauce cheese packet. Sauce, sauce cheese packet. packet. Sauce, sauce cheese packet. packet. Sauce, sauce cheese packet. Hold on, I'm trying to fill a water thing. <laughs> all right, all right. A water thing. <laughs> you all right there? <laughs> Pot wasn't available? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta do work with what you got. <laughs> <laughs> I did not have pot available. I had water available. <laughs> I gotta fill a water thing. Oh, good job, Frank. All right, ready? <laughs> no, I'm not ready for anything. Forget it. Today on Box Mac. <laughs> we're, 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 <laughs> I'm lost. You gotta go fill a water thing. <laughs> I gotta fill a water thing. All right, I'm supposed to make this. So this is made with like pumpkin and sweet potato. Really? Pumpkin and sweet potato. Yeah, we partner with people and places we trust. Pumpkin and sweet potato for the creamy sauce. Okay. So we're not really going for like a cheese thing, we're going for like a pumpkin sweet yeah. potato sauce. It's not gonna taste like that, is it? Uh... I have higher hopes um, for this Annie's than I did for the previous ones we tried. Well, cause it's more- uh, It's a commercialized brand. Mainstream. I gotta point out a feature of this box that I love, okay? You can either display it like this, which we will, or you can have it like this. So, right, but it is technically a deluxe. But I appreciate it being able to be displayed like this because I kind of like the format. This is called Mac and Trees. Every instance of the word trees, that is C-H-R-E-E-S-E, -E -E, has a little registered trademark. Well, this has cheesy Mac with a Z. Yeah. Cheesy. This is just going for creamy sauce. This is a wheat-based pasta. Daya? It's a brown white, rice. It's a, it's a brown oh, rice-based pasta. We're back in that like gluten-free pasta. Yeah, this is gluten-free vegan. And I, I think you should try to not combine those in, uh, unless absolutely necessary. The, the tapioca starch for yep. like it's thickening. So that has some real standard yeah, how we're gonna standard. mimic cheese flavor. This is going for the potato. Pumpkin thing, what's that? What, why? Trees. Trees. Trees, cake. Trees, cake. So I brought almond milk. That's yep. kind of standard. That's become the really popular non-dairy milk. We have the Earth Balance buttery spread, which again is kind of a standard. Yeah, in this really nice stick form that I haven't seen it in before. Last time we had um, the, we tub. the tub. That's very common for baking. You buy that, they call them baking. Yeah, stuff. so how much do we actually need? Uh, a very for... small amount for that, none for this. What do we need for that one? If you tell me it's optional, I'm, I'm, I'm out. I'm not eating it's, it. it uh, I, I see nothing about it. Oh my God. Look, I wasn't gonna cook it. Just, just so we're clear, for the audience at home, I was gonna do one of those dramatic throws like I've done in the other episodes. And look, I already threw it once. It's, it's got some box damage. Box which, damage. which is our sister show. So it doesn't need any buttery spread. You. 
What? It doesn't need any buttery <laughs> spread. Two thirds cups of cold water or non-dairy milk of choice. We're going water. Oh. These that's... look better than the other rice noodles. Keep in mind, this Mac is outrageously expensive. It, it's, yeah, isn't it like, it's, it can be Ten almost bucks. three bucks. The Chicago box folks paid three thirty nine dollars for this Mac. There's some, some unusual residue inside. The cheese has oiled a bit and dripped. I'm just checking to make sure that the packet is sealed. If it's not, we have to throw it away. It'll never be any good. But it is still sealed. It might have just been a slight manufacturing error. We should salt for these, right? Oh yeah, I like very much that this Annie's is gonna be shells. Do you like any salt for your your ridiculous Mac, Frankie? Um, no. You're not salting it, you're using water. You Do you want it to be crappy? I'm following the instructions. Explain to the fans uh, who were very skeptical of Skittles being vegan or not. Oh, there's uh, no gelatin in Skittles. I saw that. Somebody claimed there was gelatin in Skittles and there is none. A lot of people responded very positively to how unjudgmental John was. Mm -hmm. Obviously not a vegan. No, no. And yeah, yeah why obviously? Because <clears throat> he's fat. Look, I could be fat and vegan. I could eat Oreos all day. Isn't it a little less likely? It is, absolutely. And plus we had eaten mac and cheese on the show before that episode. Of course. That was no, the answer I was really going for. The thing is though that um, there's a lot of vegan foods that I really like. Salted rice, one of my favorite vegan dishes. Oh, bread. <laughs> Just bread. bread. Plain bread. Oh. Oh. The judgment came rolling in in the comments. I think that everybody wants to justify their lifestyle instead of accept one another's. You're gonna have to address the soy thing. Okay. You know, soy. soy is bad, soy is terrible. The main argument against soy is that it has um, phytoestrogens. That's very heavy in ba basically what's a plant estrogen. They worry about giving it to boys if you're feeding your kids a lot of soy. They do recommend for women going through menopause um, soy products that, that phytoestrogen can actually kind of help some of the decreasing estrogen in women's bodies. Mm -hmm. However, it's a plant estrogen. You know what has a lot of animal estrogen? Actual milk. Because you know where actual milk comes from? Breasts. Not, yes. not human breasts, cow breasts. Did you see her gesture but, lightly to her own breasts? breasts. <laughs> and cows breasts. have to be pregnant and then <laughs> lactating to get you your milk. And depending on where they are in that pregnancy or lactation stage, there's also a lot of actual bovine estrogen in cow's milk. There's a lot of actual That's standard what? American diet eaters who want to make the argument, oh, but you're replacing everything with soy and soy has all of these estrogens. Mm. Now, now there are some other qualities to soy. Whenever you strip a food source down to some basic concentrated yeah. thing, it's not gonna be great. The estrogen piece of it, I'm blown away by. Oh, Every thanks. type of milk has estrogen. <laughs> when we are breastfeeding these infants, they are getting estrogen. When you breastfeed your young male infant. Bull, estrogen. sounds like bull. Vegan and medical professional. Sugar what? isn't vegan filtered with bone char to sugar is vegan foods with sugar are vegan. I think they're commenting on, on the Skittles thing again. So it depends where you wanna stand on it. To get white sugar, they often filter it through bone char, which is charred animal bones, um, normally bovine cow. I do eat white sugar. My thinking is that the less animal products we eat in general, the less byproducts of animals we have, the less bones we have around to boil and make bone char with, That's true. the less they'll be in the world. You can get very strict. You can completely avoid Sour Patch Kids, the Swedish Fish, the Skittles aren't gonna be vegan by that standard. Yeah. And that's your choice. But you gotta live life. You gotta enjoy something about your diet if you're John Hunt. When I <laughs> bake and I bake from scratch, I do use the sugar in the raw. Sure. Is high fructose corn syrup vegan? Yeah. It, it, in its pure form? In, in its pure form. Again, there's processes. Who knows if it's made yeah. on the same equipment. You can also be concerned about made on the same equipment as, again, I don't yeah. go that far. That, yeah. I think they, they want to they wanna poke holes in you. All of her upload said she's beautiful and endearing, which is nice. But, uh, uh, but Azeem GG says she honestly looks sickly. She could really use a cheeseburger. I think he's just being a troll, an internet troll. A lot of people, when they find out someone's vegan, they start looking for what's wrong with you. She looks like she's about to collapse. Imagine living with some girl that is vegan. It's worse than hell. These people must not know what the hell is like. If this is hell, then chain me to the wall. Hey man, if this is torture, <laughs> chain me to the wall. There's a commenter named KB. She's this, uh, looks like a young woman. That's a thousand B. Hey, she is big time in your corner, man. Thank you, KB. She is all up in this video, fighting anybody who's saying anything about vegans. There's something very wrong with Frankie's noodles. So Annie's looks like it has the lead at this yeah. point. They're not done cooking, but they have super easy bite. It's clearly not done. No. But you can bite right through it. Yeah, I guess I see your point, yeah. The noodle itself is fairly attractive. It's a pretty good looking noodle. The uh, Annie's ones look great. They look like basic Annie's noodles. They, that's the most encouraging pasta we have. And the Daya one, the noodles are breaking up strangely. They're breaking up via text. I don't know if that's all that strange anymore. No. I like the joke. It was, I, I'm an Maybe old Maybe breaking up by a semaphore? The Annie's bunny has a name. Bernie the Dutch rabbit. 
Bernie was Annie's pet Dutch rabbit, so there was an Annie at one time. She's now dead. When she started the company, Annie chose him to be our official rabbit of approval. See, this is why Annie's does belong in the Fifi Max, because we got a little story with it. At the end, it says, bye for now. Like, I'm gonna go join her in heaven. We're gonna get haunted by this D rabbit ghost. Dear friend, well, it's not the rabbit that's writing the letter. Is oh, it? it's, it's Annie. Annie. No, Annie's not dead, is she? Bye for now. Oh, it's, it's, that's very sad, everyone. I mean, I don't like her max, but I don't want her to be dead. Tears in Annie. Yes. If I saw you in Annie's, would you know my max? <laughs> Dear friend, my husband Rob and I were the Annie's consumer relations and mail order team. It reminds me of a Paul Harvey story. Anybody know who Paul Harvey is? Good no? day. Good day. Good day. Good day. He used to do these advertisements in which he'd read testimonial letters. Mm. And then, you know, isn't this a great product because listen to the testimonial. Oh, okay. He's dead now. Oh my God, they're awful. Oh. I need to fill a water thing. I draw. <laughs> Look at how cloudy that is. That means that those noodles gave off a lot of their starch. They told me in the instructions here to rinse with cold water after you've strained. Oh my goodness. You should never do that to pasta. I'm gonna. Don't do it at home. Oh, I don't know about this, Nina. Very oily. It smells vaguely of cheese. It, smel it smells like a, a far out cheese, Johnny. You're right. Like a fart uh, cheese. For yours, you have to make that roux. Oh my God, it doesn't smell very good though, EJ. They're all busy with their own thing, but I'm gonna talk to you about Mac. Does not smell good. Your noodles look like ass. Oh, noodles. They're making a very poor showing. Oh my God, you just put powder in water. Yeah. I'm so sad for the humanity of the world. <laughs> we got a lot of steps going on because we got three on the stove, Max. This is unprecedented. The uh, almond milk, please. The almond milk. My roux is thickening nicely. Oh, very nice. It is indeed. The Annie's cheese powder is a bit green. I think I've made a, a pumpkin compote over here. Ew, it smells a lot like pumpkin, you guys. It's making me sad I've used these very nice noodles to ruin them. You know, you're being awfully pessimistic. Last episode, you got a lot of accolades yeah. for being so non-judgmental. No, but I've had a lot of bad Macs since then. I'm not quite as um, naive as I was right. when I was younger. <laughs> now, to be fair, two of the three of these do look pretty Mac-ish. Okay? Well, I'd say all three of them look pretty Mac-ish. I, I just tried a noodle and it sucks. Oh, dude. Oh, you're jumping the gun, Frankie Frank. Well, we'll have more good Macs next week, folks. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I, these could be great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yours smells something. You, you smell, Nina. Cardboard. You smell. Look, you look like you're about to pass out. You could use a cheeseburger. <laughs> John and I care about our protein. John can't fit. <laughs> John can't Come fit. on, just squish through. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we gotta eat these, huh? Uh, let's get Frankie's out of the way. Right. This is Rhodes End Organic Dairy-Free Mac and Trees. It smells of cardboard, to be honest. Uh-huh. It's gross. It tastes like rice cardboard. Ugh. It really could use some salt or butter or milk or something. Come on. <laughs> Come on, another bite. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so gross. Vegan trainer. To be honest with you, it's better than Leahy Gardens. It is. Yeah. That tastes like a swamp. I like eating from a swamp. Daya, this really looks like macaroni and cheese. It has a smell kind of like newly manufactured plastic. It's easily the best vegan mac I've ever had. Well, the flavor is super composed. It like it could be a real cheese flavor, but yeah. It's like a fake one made to taste real. Which is realer than the fake ones we normally eat. I think this blows Earth Balance out of the water, which was hitherto the best yeah. vegan man. Yeah. I still wouldn't buy and eat this on a regular basis. Well, no, but- Even it, if I was vegan, I still wouldn't buy and eat this on a regular basis. You don't think you'd acquire a taste for that? No. Annie's. There's like pumpkin flakes all it, over it. It clearly it's, smells of it's pumpkin. It's pre-flake. It has a, a strong wow. pumpkin scent. It is Thanksgiving up in here. Oh, it's just pumpkin mac. It's just pumpkin mac. That's all it is. Well, how yeah. dare they call it mac and cheese They're mac. not, though. They're calling it shells and creamy sauce. With a strong photo implication that it's mac and cheese, wouldn't you say? It's really growing on me. If you just wanted kind of a casserole -y, creamy pasta. For me, yeah. it's, for me, I'm going in for Nina's Dea. I'm actually going to finish my Annie's. I like the Annie's. It tastes like real food, whereas yeah. the, both of these other ones don't taste like real food to me. It almost has like a roasted veggie flavor. Do you guys see what I'm eating right now? Are you now? going back to that? Throw that stuff away. We got more Macs coming up that are way better. That's so uh, gross, man. It tastes like cold water. The Dea is definitely the most mac and cheesy. But the Annie's has to win in terms of actual flavor. It tastes like a real dish. Do you think you could make a better vegan mac than any one of these, homemade? I probably could, but um, the thing is, it's not gonna be in these forms. It's not gonna be powdered. All right, thank you, that's all from Max Mac. Good day. Good day. Throw all these Macs away. These guys wanna try the pumpkin. Well, try it, but don't eat it. 
Previously, we had a wholesome modern television pirate bring us some booty. And if you didn't see Nina and John review Vegan Max last time, what the f is wrong with you? Catch up now with all of Red Cow Entertainment. Mm -hmm.